Hey, it's Brickazar. In this video, we're going to be looking at a box of Lego. This is some things that I've been cataloging, or actually, I am in the process of cataloging for my collection. I'm trying to get this collection organized. It's gotten out of hand. I uh, can't even walk in the basement anymore. So, I'm trying to do things where it takes up uh, less space, and I know where things are. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go through what's in this box. Most everything in here you've already seen on this channel as far as reviews or whatever but I got everything in this box is all maxi figures so I'm trying to keep things like either the same theme and what I'm going to do is take everything out and write it down what's in it and then we're going to put it onto brick stock or brick store whatever it's called It was tricky. Uh, hopefully I can remember how I put this in there. So I'm going to go through everything that we have. This is at 264. And I'm going to write down on a piece of paper and then I'm going to put it in brick stock. This is 264. That one is complete with, with box and instructions. So I'm going to make a column for box and instructions. I'm writing it on a piece of paper. Alright. And then... We have 5235. That one was brand new when I opened it before. I'm making a checklist there. We got 268. Did I put that right? I can't remember. 268. That one should be complete with box and instructions. We got 5233. Same thing. We got 196. We have. Oh, you know what? Yeah, that'll work. Um, let's see. Oh, I did something different. All right, 297. Actually, let me put these other ones in the bottom. I think they were in the bottom. I'll go ahead and write 297 down. I got 197. Complete with box and instructions. 205. This one, I love this set. This is one of my favorite sets. I, I think if I redo my top 10 or whatever, this should be in it. Um, it's a wedding set, 205. That one is a fun set. 205. Alright, did I do 297 and 197? So we'll put this one in there. Then we got the hairdressing salon. What is the number of the set? Let me hide the number. Oh, 296. Alright. We got another salon, Salon Colette, which I think means hair salon. I don't know. <laughs> I forgot. It's been a while since I did the video for that. We got 265. If this doesn't fit back in this box, I'm going to be up. So this is the one we just did. Partial box. That one had instructions. We got 194. Now this one, 194. No instructions. I have the instructions somewhere. They're just not in here. Um, so we've got to find those. We have set 200, no box. But it has the instructions. All right, we got set 276. This is the doctor's office, no 
box. We got 200. This one is missing the rope. No rope. No box. It does have the instructions. And I've got to order it for the rope. So when the rope comes in, i got to remember it's in there. Um, got the family room. No box. Oh, I hope this all fits. We got the kitchen. No box. We got building set with people 195. No box. We have the policeman 256. No box. We have now here's another cowboy set 210. It's complete with the box and the rope. And last one going in here is 261 bathroom. No box. All right. So, I almost can close it. <laughs> I'm sure this thing's going to go back on there. All right, I'm so glad I got everything back in there. Now i got to put a sticker on it. Should I put a cat sticker? Meow. Cat's meow. Got these letters. So what I need is a designation for this box. And this is my personal collection. I got all these stickers. I could do 26 boxes with this. If I could open this thing. I got a label maker somewhere. I'm just going to put an A on this box for now. So, A. <laughs> so I'm going to take all these sets. This is going to be pers I got to come up with a, a a a a way of distinguishing each box cuz you know you have different size boxes. So this is going to be A and it's going to be large. I'm going to say it's large personal lap. <laughs> large A large a we'll call that large a and it's maxi figure sets so i'm going to go enter that in on rick's dock <music>
any notes I can make and I can have the remarks for the location. So I think this is going to help me keep track of my inventory as long as I don't take stuff out and forget to mark that I took it out and things like that. <laughs> I'm sure I'll get it all messed up again. But anyway, let me know what do you do to keep track of your inventory? I mean, I think for most medium to small collections it's not really necessary to keep a detailed inventory but with the, my collection it's gotten to where I need to do an inventory so I know where things are because what happens is when you're looking for something you'll go through different boxes thinking you it was in that box and it wasn't and then you've destroyed that box or you've gotten it all out of whack looking through it and before you know it you've made a mess or at least I have anyway that's my thoughts. Let me know what you do to keep track of your inventory, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, Brigazar.